In less than two months, visitors will be flooding into Erie to view the total solar eclipse. Nicole Lee joins us in the control room with more on the efforts to keep those visitors here for more than just the eclipse. Nicole. Jen, local tourism officials and business owners alike realize that the eclipse will put Erie on the national stage. And they plan to put their best foot forward so visitors return again and again. On April 8th, Erie is in the path of totality for a total eclipse. According to the Visit Erie CEO and President, as one of the few locations to view this astronomical event, Erie will draw many visitors who have never been here before. We're the closest geographic uh, destination from Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia. Oliver says people from those big cities tend to overlook Erie as a vacation destination. He says while the eclipse is a once-in-a-lifetime event, he hopes visitors who come to view it realize Erie is a four-season destination with a lot to offer. We have Splash Lagoon, uh, you know, an indoor water park. Uh, we have a number of cultural things, the art museum, the playhouse that's that's around. So there's, there's other things that we can have people doing um, other than just going to the beach. Presque Isle State Park, which already draws 4 million visitors annually will be a popular viewing spot for the eclipse but with only one way in and out it's worth considering other options like Liberty Park parking ramps on the Bayfront and Northeast wineries UPMC Park is one place for visitors to view the eclipse the sea wolves will be hosting a watch party here that day followed by their home opener the very next day we always say get people here once and then they come back we're gonna take it to our advantage and and I know everybody else in town is as well because it's a chance for Erie to show off to a national audience. Well, as of November, local hotels were already at 70% capacity for the eclipse, and the Visit Erie team expects that they'll soon be full. Jen? All right, Nicole Lee in our control room tonight. Thank you, Nicole.